guys and welcome to Frats of Faywood. So today I'm getting my witch on again. I've made a witch's broom already and I've got a witch's hat but I feel like we could do better. So I went on the hunt for some witch's patterns, uh, like witch's hat patterns that I could use. I wanted something, well, <laughs> you know me, go big or go home. <laughs> so of course I was looking for the most outrageous witch's hat that I could possibly find. And I found one. <laughs> now I'm going to lean to the side so I can show a picture of what it's meant to look like because I haven't made one yet myself, but hopefully we can achieve this <laughs> ourselves. And the pattern itself is really cheap. It's like six US dollars, uh, which works out a little bit more for Australian dollars when you convert it, but totally fine. It has instructions of how to print the pattern out but it doesn't actually have any other instructions. So if you haven't ever worked with Eva foam before or anything like that, I would say maybe don't start with that one. Uh, and I'm not saying this like I'm some Eva foam expert, by the way. <laughs> I've only used it a handful of times myself, so I am going into this like a little bit blind and, and hopeful that I'll be able to work it out. Uh, it hasn't said that there's anything specific that I need to be aware of. Like my main concern is, do I need to cut things on an angle? And I couldn't see anything at all saying that the uh, edges of the foam needed to be cut on like the 45 or anything like that. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. Now, the thing is too, when I looked at this, like I was like, Oh, that's a really cool shape for a witch's hat. But I kind of wanted it in material. I didn't want it necessarily in foam. So I did buy some material as well. And I'm hoping I can incorporate that into the pattern as well. Uh, but we shall see. I did contemplate making it entirely out of uh, material. But then uh, I realized like it's not going to hold its shape. It's just going to... I don't know what it's going to do, but it's probably going to look strange. So I think this is the plan, at least. I'm going to make the foam hat, make the material and pull it over the top of the foam. Now, I did get a really stretchy material. It's like two way stretch so that it would uh, hopefully pull over the shape of the hat, because I think that's where it could get really difficult unless you were like hand stitching it over the top of the foam. And I'm hoping to not have to do that much. <laughs> There may have to be some hand stitching in, involved, but I'm hoping to sort of minimize the hand stitching because that will take a really long time. Anyway, I have a lot to do potentially. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I'm really hoping I'm going to have enough time to do this and share it with you guys before Halloween. But if you're watching this after Halloween, you know that didn't happen. So I have already printed off all my sheets of paper that have the pattern pieces laid out on them. I have purchased, I think I got about two meters of Eva foam. It was a while ago that I bought it. So, and they recommend that you do like half a centimeter, five mil Eva foam. So that's what I got. Um, I'll try and link everything in the description box, like the pattern where I got the foam and the material that I used as well. So that if this does work out and anyone else is wanting to try it as well, um, you can see what I did. <laughs> All right, well, let's just get going. So now that I've cut out all my pattern pieces, I need to now mark out the pattern on the foam and the material. So I think I'm actually going to pull out my other table. Uh, you've seen this in other videos before. I've got another plastic table and I tend to put them together whenever I'm doing big patterns like this so that I've just got a bit more space. So hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to do the pattern. Uh, mostly. The pattern, like the pieces, just have little markings on them so that you can match them together. And it's just, 
a lot of mirror pieces to put both sides of the hat together so hopefully that's relatively straightforward to do this is my foam from Lumen's workshop they have a lot of really cool like cosplay and craft supplies and stuff like that so they're a good place at least in Australia to get like big rolls of Eva foam so that's what I got there this is my material and I've forgotten exactly what it was called I feel like it was like some sort of stretch suiting material or something but I just went looking for whatever had you know really good stretch to it and this does a uh, nice nice stretch so I feel like the stretch idea was that if I make this and then need to pull it over the foam form that I'll be able to do so. <laughs> we'll see if that actually is true. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole idea. So um, I'm going to need to cut the same pattern pieces out of this but allow a seam allowance on all of it. So uh, I think I'll just go with like a centimetre and a half seems to be the standard seam allowance that you give to things. So I'll probably do that for these pieces and then hopefully I can sew them and stretch them over the foam. So that's where we're at. Let's cut out a whole, whole host of pattern pieces. Well, I've just finished putting all the markings for all the pattern pieces on my foam now and I've managed to keep it to one sheet of foam. I actually bought two sheets. I wasn't sure if I needed extra, so that's great. Uh, it took a little while just to transpose all of the markings, but it's going to make a difference in the long run to make sure that's all accurate. Now I'm going to focus on cutting those out. I'm not doing any of the material stuff yet. Uh, I think I'll do that tomorrow because it is getting later in the day, so I'm running out of time. I just want to share as well that all of the boys are sleeping just out the door. <laughs> I went out there, husband was asleep on the couch, two little kittens in the little cat beds and a fizz gig on his back sleeping <laughs> so we have uh, an array of sleeping boys just out my door <laughs> it's the next day and I've cut out all my pattern pieces from the foam it's kind of hard to picture this all coming together to look like a witch's hat right now it just looks like a jigsaw puzzle which I guess it kind of is and really it's gonna be even more of a jigsaw puzzle because I do need to work out how to incorporate the material into this uh, I'm going to, going to have to think about whether I'll be able to stretch the material over the top of the hat and all of that or whether I have to do it in parts so that I can pull the material over the top. It does have a lot of stretch this material. It's not the stretchiest material you can get so I'm hoping uh, that it will be stretchy enough uh, but I will need to really think about how to construct this now from here. So wish me luck. <laughs> Hopefully this all comes together. At the worst I'll have a foam hat though. <laughs> well, I mean, ho hopefully I'll have a foam hat. Uh, that could go wrong too, potentially, I suppose. <laughs> Just wish me luck. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
two and this is what I have so far so it's starting to look pretty cool it's not perfect I am still learning when it comes to using Eva foam so some of my seams aren't amazing and especially where it's like four seams coming together like I've got one at the moment that's I don't know if you'll be able to see it's kind of prying apart that I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna let it dry and then try again to close up that seam a lot of this, well, a lot of this, all of this is going to be covered with material if everything goes as planned. So hopefully that will be okay. This is more of a, a structure for the hat, material hat to go over the top of. And I also have my brim. <laughs> it's so massive. One thing I didn't really calculate was the width of my head to the pattern it didn't tell you what the circumference would be so I guess I just sort of went in blind not not knowing I thought it would just be I thought it would be pretty close to you know a normal hat size as in how it fits on your head but this is massive like it's hard for me to try it on because it's like I keep whacking the the back of it on things but like you can see I get lost in it like a bucket so once we get to that part I will have to um, probably just add another bit of foam like just have something so that it just stops the hat from falling over my head basically but I won't do that straight away that'll be something I do towards the end uh, so yeah I'm gonna leave it here for, for tonight I think and do the pattern pieces and stuff tomorrow I'm having kind of a bad symptom day today not the worst, but I am struggling a bit. So I'm like, oh, I just can't keep going. I've, I've got nothing left in me. I have no more spoons. <laughs> so we live to fight another day tomorrow. <laughs> pieces cut out finally it takes me a really long time to get pieces drawn up and cut out and everything I don't know about you guys but I always <laughs> always think oh yeah I'll do that you know and and it'll take me an hour and it never does it always takes me longer but I have all the pieces um, now I have to try and put all the pieces together and this is going to be interesting because it's the first time I'm doing something like this with material that doesn't have a pattern. It should hopefully be straightforward, she says, unsure. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping that I can work it. I mean, I know where they all fit together because I made the hat 
with the foam. So I can't see there being any real issue putting this together, but I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I hear a kitten. Oh no. It's a Loki. You were crying at the door, weren't you? You've not really been in here because there's too many things you can get into trouble with. <laughs> Oh, all the toys. I know. I know. Oh, mean Mama's not going to let you run around in here, though. Too little and too much mischief. I know you would get straight into the mischief. <laughs> my lack of makeup today and I am looking a bit shiny because I've got SPF on my skin I just didn't feel like doing makeup today I've been having a bit of a bad symptom run at the moment so yeah just wasn't in the mood to get all dolled up and all of the rest um, I've been cutting out pattern pieces and stitching around each of them with like a zigzag stitch I just want to make sure it doesn't fray um, and I thought as well it might help me better outline the pieces when I go to stitch them all together. What I'm thinking, because I don't have instructions of how to sew them together and it really was made for foam, but I, I have seen other people do the same as me and put material over them. What I'm thinking is I'll probably stitch one half of the hat, like one side of the hat and another side of the hat and then st stitch those two together. That's probably going to be the best way to do it. Because I was just trying to like think in my head. Because it's not it's not just a simple, you know, two pieces and there's a hat. It's a whole host of lots of little, you know, bits and pieces. So I just needed to really think about, oh, how's the best way to actually make sure this all comes together as the right shape. Otherwise, it's not going to fit over my foam. And yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to pin it together and start stitching it together. And fingers crossed it all comes together into some semblance of a hat that fits over my foam hat <laughs> what I'm doing I'm sewing the pieces that connect like along say this part here so if you can see there's a square here there's a square here there's a piece here a piece here etc etc so I'm stitching those bits together in these joins here first I'm doing the same thing along this section so I'm stitching this like this seam here to that and so forth for this piece and same on the other side so uh, at the moment I've got four long strips of pieces I'm then going to attach like I'm then going to sew this seam up here like this seam on the material this is <laughs> and then I'll have two halves of the hat and I'll stitch finally the two halves um, together. That's the idea. I feel like that's going to be my best bet. I am a little concerned um, how well I'll be able to stretch this over the hat but you know I won't know that until the very end and I stretch it over. It is stretchy material so there's like it stretches both ways and I think that's absolutely key. If you were going to get material for doing a hat like this and you're hoping to pull it over a form like this. Probably best to get um, a two-way stretch. I'll again link the one that I use. Hopefully this all goes well, otherwise it might be a, don't use this one, it didn't work out. <laughs> day and it was actually Halloween in Australia 
yesterday, it's Halloween in the US today. I don't think this video is going to make it even for today because I still have a fair bit of work to go on this hat and I haven't edited the video of course because I'm still filming it. But I thought I'll check in here anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll just post this video whenever it's done basically. So whenever you see it is when you see it, <laughs> of course. Captain Obvious. Uh, this is what I have at the moment, if I can fit it in frame. Um, it's difficult to hold up, but it's basically both halves of the hat right here without the uh, brim of the hat. And I am still trying to work out how I'm going to do the brim part of the hat. I think, I think I'm going to attach the brim that I have at the moment, but I want an underside bit of material for the brim as well so I'm probably going to attach the two halves of the brim for the underside but not sew the two together I'm hoping that will give me enough give to be able to pull it over the brim we'll see I'm not sure this all could go awry I mean I'm really I'm really nervous because it's it's getting to that point where it's like will this fit yes it's stretchy <gasps> But still, it may not, you know, it may not. I'll, I'll just have to keep forging ahead and see what happens. If this doesn't fit, you might not see this video for a really long time. <laughs> or at all. I don't know. No, I'll definitely share it. Uh, look, worst case, we'll, again, we'll have a foam hat. Hopefully we have a foam hat covered in material though. So, uh, I feel like I'm crossing my fingers a lot in videos lately. <laughs> Well, this is the moment of truth. I've done all the sewing I need to do on this. It's ready to pull over the top of the foam. <laughs> I hope to God it works because that will be really sad if I've done all that and I can't get it over. I did it it's bigger than it needed to be it's much much bigger I had to put a hat in the hat so the hat fits my head uh, so I would recommend if you print it off measure your head measure the circumference that it will end up being and then adjust accordingly because I just 
didn't do that. I was thinking at the time, if it's oversized, it won't be that oversized and I can pad it. I didn't for a minute think it would be this oversized. It's, uh, it was at least, you know, an inch bigger than my head, maybe even a bit on both sides. Like it was a lot bigger. <laughs> And everything else is bigger because of that too. So this was a go big or go home that went bigger <laughs> than I anticipated it to go. Uh, and, you know, had I have known, I would have maybe gone home. Um, <laughs> no, I'm really happy with the hat. It's not perfect. There are like little bits here and there that I, you know, didn't do as perfectly like the fabric around the rim didn't pull across like perfectly there's parts where the seam doesn't sit exactly where I want it uh, the fabric on it you know it looks a little bit crumpled here and there just because of like the nature of it uh, I guess if you were being super perfectionist about it potentially you could try putting um, some spray adhesive I did put a little bit of that on my on the rim I didn't put it anywhere else um, I popped a little bow on that. That didn't come with the pattern. <laughs> that was just a little addition. I think it's really fun. It's a lot of hat. Like this over time is going to get a bit heavy on your head. But then again, if it was the size it was meant to be, there'd probably be a lot less foam overall um, and one less hat <laughs> because, because of the hat insert thing that I put in there. Um, the hat insert worked perfectly. It, it was just one I had around uh, because I was originally going to make that into a different hat and I thought, you know what, that was there for a reason, that came into my life for a reason and it is to become a witch's hat. This project was really tricky. I am still new to Eva Foam and uh, sticking Eva Foam pieces together even though I've watched videos on how to do it from experts, somehow when you go to do it yourself, it's never as easy as you think. Things just don't ever seem to stick perfectly for me. I haven't quite worked out the uh, finer details of how much glue to put on, how to get the exact, you know, consistency all correct so that it all adheres, especially when you're doing something this three-dimensional. But having said that, it did come together relatively well. All my crimes are hidden by material, um, except for my material crimes, which are not hidden by anything. Um, <laughs> so I think this is a great pattern, though. Like, it was six bucks, US dollars, if you're in Australia, so a little bit more. Um, but, you know, you get, you don't just get this hat in the pattern either. There's like three or four hats. So this was the biggest, obviously, because that's who I am as a person in my soul. <laughs> well, guys, I am absolutely exhausted. This has been a big month for me. I really wanted to try and do a lot of videos because I've noticed that my channel really buzzes in October. It really, um, a lot of people come to my channel in October. I think Halloween is so fun as well because people are doing costumes, so much creativity involved with Halloween and a lot of people get into it, you know, in the States at least and starting to in Australia as well and it seems to bring out this like creativity in everyone. So my plan was to try and really uh, embrace Halloween on my channel and try and bring some really fun Halloween content. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I am going to go on a break. It's been a long year for me. Uh, there's been so many lockdowns here. I'm in one of the, well, not one of the places. I am in the place in the world that's had the most lockdowns. So yay. Melbourne has apparently beat everyone else <laughs> for the harshest, longest lockdowns. And, um, and I'm feeling it and I need a break. We are finally opening up here. I can finally see people and do things. I kind of just want to do nothing right now, but <laughs> I just need a break from YouTube to catch up on things and do some things in my life and just to recharge and refresh and everything like that. My plan is to come back uh, in December. I don't know exactly when I'm coming back. But I will be here for some Christmas content. I don't think I'm going to do Famous this year because, again, it's just been a long year and I'm just trying to recoup, I think, for the rest of the year. 
but I do have a few things in the pipeline and I am planning to bring some videos to you guys and next year I have even more plans I have so many ideas in the pipeline so definitely stick around or hit subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss when I do come back with all new content have a good month everyone hope you've enjoyed Halloween I hope you had a fun safe Halloween I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you next time back in Faywood. Bye guys.